What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing all right. Um, today, like the thumbnail says, I'm going to show you the procedures on a Tech 2, which is this tool right here. A lot of you might be familiar with it. I'm going to show you the procedures on how to calibrate a Bose amp. And on this um, situation, what happened was I plugged in this radio. I programmed this radio that you can see here. It's a nav radio from an 06H2. Uh, mine is an 04. If you've been following my videos, um, you already know. So mine, H2 is an 04. This radio is from 06. This radio, the part number I believe is 158 zero 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 one okay this particular head unit as far as i know um only works if you have the uh, luxury um amp on your truck in my case i didn't know that i learned all of that when i started oops, offer up is beeping so in this case um when i got the radio i plugged it in I got it unlocked and then I find out that I have no sound at all. The reason for that is because the radio, this radio, there's another radio just like this, but the part number ends with zero instead of one. That one radio that has a part number ending on a zero works with both um, premium amp, which is the one I had, and um, luxury amp. But again, I didn't know that. Anyways, after I putting this head unit on, got it unlocked. I was only getting sound um, from the uh, front door on the passenger side. If some of you guys don't know why that might be, uh, the, might be happening is, that's a way the truck lets you know, hey, you just put an amp on, on me that doesn't belong to me, it needs to be programmed. And when I say program, I don't mean being relearned. It is programmed to another vehicle, in my case, because I got it from, from eBay. But basically what you have to do when it comes to a luxury amp, you have to tell the amp what size truck is it in. So it adjusts all the sound settings to that specific truck. Um, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Because if you try to do the regular procedures on a Tech 2, the option to recalibrate the amp won't show it up. And... If we take a look right here on the Tech 2, excuse the mess, I'm working on this guy. But if you looked over here on the Tech 2, I'm going to try and... Let's see. I got my Tech 2 hooked up to the um, auxiliary power outlet. So I don't want to lose power in the middle of anything. So let's go ahead and power out the Tech 2. If you go to a dealer... Um, a lot of dealers say, hey, that what you're trying to do is not possible, and they're not even willing to try it, but I'm going to show you how it's done. So, take the hook up to your uh, um, terminal. Let's hit enter. Okay, here we go. For the most part, when you are working on a Tech 2, what you have to do on this screen is you build the vehicle that you're working on. So, at first, what I did is I went ahead and I... I'm going to show you right now. We'll go to diagnostics. I went ahead and built my truck, which is a 05. I mean, 04. 04, light duty truck, all the way down to Hummer. And then we go to body, and then up level radio. It's not talking. Okay, so when you come to the screen right here, First setting, if you look at, hope you can see that the camera's doing a decent job focusing. If you click on that amplifier, right, you come down to special functions. Okay, in my case, if I set up the uh, the profile on the Tech 2, telling the Tech 2 the actual car that I have, the only option you're going to have on the special function screen is a microphone test. And we don't want a microphone test. What we want is an uh, um, amplifier um, uh, recalibration. Now, don't be scared. There's nothing wrong with your amp. Your amp is still good, still there. What you have to do is you have to get out of these right here. 
and I'm going to show you. As you get out to the main screen, what you have to do in this case is you have to remember, you don't need the BIN number, you only have to remember what model year or what and what vehicle was it. In my case, it was a 2005 Cadillac. And just, uh, okay, now this is new to me. See, we're learning stuff. I think if we type C, I'm not sure if I picked the right option right there. If you come to body, um, up level radio, dual actually, we go down to the bar. Actually, first setting might be all right. Couple of things that may happen in yours. Okay, amplifier. If you go onto special functions, there you go. It says recalibration. You see that? So basically, what you have to do if you're trying to recalibrate your amp, you have to kind of lie to the tech tool and say that you're being plugged in to the car where the part came from. In this case, like I show you. It was an 05 vehicle. Once you do that, all you gotta do is come down here, hit recalibration, and I don't want to do it all over again. Um, because I want to explain this thing to you. Because I've been told by a couple of actual GM techs, um, at first when I'd even trying to do this, and they told me what you're about to do, there is a big chance that you can uh, mess up the amp. So you can't do it, but once you get it working, um, don't be trying it over and over and over again because there's a chance that you can, uh, um, I don't know if it's blow up the amp or what, but I just want to show you guys um, what were the steps and how is it done. Some people think, like if you're new with the Tech 2 like I was, some people, at first I thought I needed to connect to the computer and download the right files and all that good stuff. There might be a step that's like that, but the quickest, simple way of doing it, if you have a Tech 2, which by the way, if you don't have a Tech 2 and you want to purchase this guy, there's going to be links in the description of this video um, to get this guy right here. It's a clone. It's not the actual Tech 2 from a GM dealer, but works just the same. Check out the links in the description for um, for this guy. Um, and again, I hope that this video gave you um, an idea how to make, do that procedure. If you find this video of any help at all, please give it a, a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, sorry about the mess. I know it's this is all taken apart and everything. I'm actually actually yeah, let me show you. What I'm trying to do, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to hook up these XM box, but it's not working for me. So I don't know how I'm gonna get that working. Uh, my truck didn't come with XM. I thought it did, but it didn't come with XM from the factory. So that's the reason why you see all these wires hanging and everything. Again, thanks a lot for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you like the video, and as always. I'll see you on the next one.